Someone to eat. Strong hope we find milk of Hi. Is there something you need? How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Anything else? No, nothing. All right. What's going on? Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Would you like to? Why, yes, of course, sir. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. I'll meet Pack Rats now, sir. sir. is bigger than strong new. Got it.
guess. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Remember, Swatters will win you the game. Let's see what you got. Baseball history. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I've got a few minutes to browse. Feel free to test the grips. The hey there, so did the Minutemen send you? Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. 
Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Lost him. Go. Let's do this. Wakey, wakey, blue.
Excellent. Sweet. There's a story here, we'll find it. We're living in a vault. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we talked about it. And we decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together.
I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. You made a mistake. Now you pay for it. You're not there. Jack, not that. the new guy is here. the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. You're not buying this hooey. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then? I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing. You've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with...
place gives me the creeps. What can I Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. 
So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out.
Lovely night. Acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Your sister is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just so because did you find Imogene out what happened to the to bring a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. And you don't even care. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of... years older than you, Blue. I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone. But I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor.
your back. Looking for work? Yeah, when can I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work? Just tell me what I need to do. It's a simple job, really. You are gonna be doing some digging. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? Well, what are you waiting for? Get digging. get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh, yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alerts. Bail! Bobby can take this job and shove it. What was that? What is going on in my tunnel? That room was filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Just tell me where to go and who to talk to. I knew I liked you. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business.
I'll catch up to you. Order yourself a bowl. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. I need a place to stay. Try Hotel Rex. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah. I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside like our territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Lawrence. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Excuse me. God, I love this song. Hey. Buddy, I need to be a lot more. Hey, Charlie. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Ain't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Guy wants a word. You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Most days I ain't got two caps to rub together. Sweet pip boy, brother. You hold on mm -hmm. to that. Now what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is, I call. Is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for a strong whiskey. <laughs> Charlie will be happy to hear that. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her father. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. 
always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Hey, give me a minute. Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Hey. Sell that? What you got for me? That's freedom. Hey, Piper. You hungry? These always keep me going. Your thoughts? Well, aren't I lucky they thought you out just for me? Your thoughts? Can't keep anything from you. Oh, nothing. Sure. You step through the gate. You got balls. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patients. Don't have no handouts. Vault suit, huh? Classy. Fred Allen at the Hotel Rexford, he can hook. You up with chems? Our Hey. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. 
You know how women can get. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Whoa. You really want to head down this route? Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. all yours, neighbor. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Oh, I really have to get up. Edward! Edward! Not oh my now. god, it's happening. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Sammy, the doorway, right there. 
sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right now, thank you. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And... Try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do, but you know as well as I do. What gave you the idea we're friends?
Yeah. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Hmm. Figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the great green jewel just inside the city limits. Carla. You again. Here to trade? What kind of stuff do you have? Just a bit of everything. You'd be surprised what people leave behind on the old roads. Gotta keep your eyes peeled for good stuff. Got plenty to sell if you're interested. Let's see what you have. Here's what I got. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Not right now. Then have a good day. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Let me think it over. Whatever. Right behind you. Wakey blue. Come on. Time to move. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob? Your money. All of it. Now. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. Here. Now leave me alone. Hey, Carla. Ah, the robber. Hey, I paid up, so get lost.
men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough. Stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Locked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this one is worth the trouble. Look at this place. What? Nothing but dust and junk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can pick this. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down oh to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. 
I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've you okay? I'll be basement. all right. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. There we go. Let's get on with it. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. I just need to rest here a minute. Nothing but garbage. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined here in a specially constructed cell in the basement. He became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he brought back from a dig in Arabia. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety as well as ours. Are you saying your father has been locked up here since it was built? That's right. Almost... 400 years now. You don't look a day over 200. I'm glad you find this situation so amusing. The artifact that caused Lorenzo's psychosis also introduced anomalies into his blood. I discovered that these caused a variety of side effects, one of them being to drastically slow or halt the aging process. So, you've been keeping your father imprisoned here, so you could stay young forever? Not at all. That was merely a serendipitous benefit of my research, which has allowed me to continue working on finding a cure. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength, an unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these Bingo. intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. Who's there?
Hey. Shoot. Probably have something you can use. We can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Leave me alone. Someone there? What? Playing games with me, huh?
time for this. The old utility elevator is still working. This will take us to the basement. Come on. Going down. Everyone you see, don't hesitate. No way to pick we this. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Got it. yourself All those assholes idiots are trying to shut down the abremlin it's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there we need to get in there and stop them Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security door! Free it up! I'm opening. 
opening the main door. Hey, Tom. Hurry! The umbrella field is down. Come. Over Even here. The simplest task. Uh. Beyond the arcade village. Uh. Ain't nothing. Finally, free! Same person! Listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Bremelin generator to manual override, and I can flood his cell. Yes. But with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the bingo. right thing. Open this door and let Hell me yeah. out. and then we're all dead. You fool! Last time you did the right thing. You'll see. generators I can end this everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie that must be obvious now yes do the right thing and be out of here to keep sharp. Always working. Ah. 
I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Someone sounds a little nervous. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm out here with you. What else could I need? That's all. All right. Excuse me. We didn't have any other choice, did we? What would he have done if he'd gotten free? Oh, he would have killed both of us. And then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. You truly had no choice. You're just sorry that you lost your source of immortality juice. I don't care what you think anymore. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. <laughs>